My particular part is in the nuclear research side, and the nuclear group has the oldest history of uh, anywhere in, well, in the world, let alone the UK. Uh, go back right to the discovery. Rutherford discovered the atomic nucleus in Manchester. We're lucky we have huge amounts of the original pieces. Some we have to be a bit careful of, so some things like Rutherford's desk still betray the fact Rutherford worked on them, they're radioactive. So this uh, lovely desk here lives its life inside a Perspex box, uh, courtesy of a spillage of radium over it. But it clearly dates it and shows the work they were doing, and of course the fact that in the early days they kept radioactive sources in their desk drawers uh, whenever they wanted to use things. But all of the equipment, uh, x-ray tubes mostly used, uh, the electroscopes Rutherford himself worked with, Many of these still exist or have been preserved at this university. It's excellent for showing how you can do fundamental research with items that are made from glass and wood. How with technology 100 years ago, they were getting right to the source of what holds a nucleus together. Uh, say with technology that doesn't extend beyond glass and wood, with modern technology, with our silicon and germanium and our huge accelerators, we can now go vastly beyond that but to show what you can achieve in a, in a, in a manner that um, students can understand, that uh, you can see, build on a scale, you can construct yourself, that's invaluable.